Here's why the global elite are panicking. Let me show you this website here, worldometers.info. You can see that the population level is nearing 8 billion. Um, the elite don't like that. They are going to lose control if they're not careful. Uh, the elite globalists are people that like to reduce population levels. They believe if there's too many people, that's bad for their system, and it is. It's, it's gotten to the point where they did a lot of things to make a lot of money, but then that made a lot of people as a result. Um, making food cheap and you know housing and whatever other kind of things like that, which you study history, and there was a lot of issues and things in the past with food and whatever, people growing their own food and whatever, but they've made refrigeration and all the other things, grocery stores, which really weren't there in the past. People had to grow their own food. So by doing that, the globalists made a lot of money. They got wealthy. A whole bunch of new globalists got entered into their fold of globalism. But um, in doing that, they made a lot of people. Now they're panicking. So what are they going to do about it? Well, there's a number of things that they're going to do, and I need to warn people about that. Uh, thing, point number one that they're planning on doing, um, they're talking about this whole thing of a, you know, you can't call it a famine, that's the Bible word, but they're saying food scarcity, supply chain shortage, breakdown, blah, 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 all these new political correct terms. But uh, shockingly, I was actually watching a channel, one of the financial channels that I watch, um, Neil McCoy Ward, and he actually showed some video of the head of the World Bank um, literally coming out and talking about the whole thing of food scarcity and how a lot of countries are going to go into this whole problem. Let me show you the video. We now want to welcome David Malpass, president of the World Bank. Welcome back to Face the Nation. Thank you very much. There's also shortages, there's inflation, uh, and, and the food shortages for the poorer countries are becoming a significant concern. They already are. But you're also describing a recipe for global instability. When there's not enough food that uh, for for weaker countries, poorer countries, that that causes uh, instability, and it's a big factor in the turnover of governments. Food crisis will be at least a three-year problem. A three-year problem. What time horizon do you put on the food crisis and the? energy crisis. Uh, the fertilizer isn't being made. You know, fertilizer comes, a, a, a giant source of fertilizer is from natural gas uh, through the ammonium channel, and that's just not happening. So a lot of the world is shutting down for lack of fertilizer, and then those shortages of crops will last for multiple years. Are we at crisis? We're at crisis, and we see more countries falling in one by one. So there you have it. How about that? Um, and it's interesting because he said in this video as well, Neil did, that um, the United States Census Bureau government website actually already has a map showing which states are going into food scarcity. So you say, well, this is just a conspiracy theory. There won't be any food shortages. Everything's fine. Uh, then why is the Census Bureau, Bureau already talking about food scarcity and tracking it? There's some issues there. I think I heard a statistic here today where 100 food processing plants in America have been destroyed since January of this year. Six months, 100 food processing factories. Others just shutting down and we're going out of business and whatever else. That's a problem, okay? Um, so the globalists have planned to reduce the population numbers way down. A lot of people think, well, there won't be any kind of major kill-off or die-off before the time of Jacob's Trouble gets started. I don't know about that. I really don't know about that. Um, the globalists are going to use three big things. They're going to have famine, war, and disease. Again, Europe is getting ready for war right now. They're bringing troops in. They're getting things ready to go for war. So what Jesus Christ said would happen in the end times, the beginning of sorrows, is what we're seeing right now. Hmm, it's a pretty interesting thing. But uh, there's one fatal flaw with the globalist plan, and this is where you can have some hope. The one big thing, I can't say that they didn't plan for, but the one big thing that is going to be a problem for them. Um, Darwinian evolution, the primary tenet of it is survival of the fittest, which is kind of just, I mean, there, you could make some exceptions to the rule. Well, 
you know, what about little fish and the big whale comes and swims and swallows it? I get it. But the it's just kind of a common sense thing. Obviously, the strong sur survive. The weak die off. Well, using that theory, um, what's going to be left after the war and the famine and the disease and everything else? Uh, a lot of strong people. The people that didn't fall for the deception. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people are going to die uh, very soon. This year, I think it's going to get started. And it could be billions of people that will die. They need to get that number down. And um, you say, well, I don't think God's going to let that happen. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't God let that happen? Do you know him? Do you have a personal relationship with, with the Lord Jesus Christ? You say, no, I'm not really into that. I don't believe in that. So, okay, then why would God have any reason to preserve your life? And why would the globalists have any reason to preserve your life? Hmm. You say, well, I'm a globalist. I'm watching this secretly. I'll never post a comment. Good for you. But better that you don't. <laughs> um, but if you're a globalist, if you're some kind of a rich, powerful person, um, you're not guaranteed of anything. You could be shot in the back by some street thug or whatever else looking for some food. You're trying to get to your vehicle to get out of the area or something. They could kill you down, shoot you down just like anybody else. Well, no, I have all the inside things and everything else. We'll see about that. We'll see. Um, just something to think about. Uh, these are times when uh, you don't need to worry about your future and your retirement and your social security and your pension and whatever else. You need to think about your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Please make sure you get that fixed up today.